Welcome once again to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with your Weekend Anomaly mission of the weekend, November 15th through the 17th. Now, of course, we're in the thick of the Beachhead Expedition, and it looks like Hello Games, as of, I believe, yesterday, decided to extend it two more weeks. So, hey, for those of you who haven't done it yet, you got an extra couple weeks to get it done. For you speedrunners who want to try to get a better speed time, you have an extra couple weeks to get that done. So we're on our way to the, I believe my character is inside the anomaly already, but we're going to find out in just a moment. And uh, we'll get started with our... Nope, it looks like I'm in a space station. As it slowly crawls in as everything catches up. Give it a moment. As you can see... Nothing found. I have no idea why it keeps telling me that. <laughs> it's been doing that every time I've been powering up the game for a long time now. Um, we've been using our solar ship for a little bit. Let's switch ships. Let's go to something a little more fancy. I want to use the Starborn Runner, shall we? Always a cool ship to use. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and use this one. Why am I using this one? Well, it's because the next expedition... You might be able to get this ship for yourself if you haven't gotten it yet. So, we're looking forward to that. Let's go ahead and pull in the anomaly now. There we go. A little bit of a hesitation now and then as everything catches up. And here we go. So let's see what the anomaly mission has to show for today. Uh, no big news except that uh, I will most likely be streaming Saturday the 8th. Pardon me. 16th, Saturday the 16th, at around uh, between 4 and 4.30 p.m., but not on YouTube. I will most likely be doing it over on Twitch. Decided to just give Twitch a whirl again. Haven't done it in a while since the last uh, drops occurred, and just wanted to make sure the channel was still alive. So I'm going to see if everything's still working. Anyway, here we are at our nexus inside the anomaly. Little blue symbol at the top indicating we have our nice weekend mission going. So exotic supplies, it asks us to collect five Hadal cores, a couple different ways to do that. But the big thing is, will it remain the mission? We don't know. So we're going to get life support gel type on times 11, like I need more of those, and 1800 Quicksilver. So let's start our mission. And on our way back to our ship. All right. On our way. Really cool ship, isn't it? Now, as usual, when you exit the anomaly, it throws you into hyperspace. And it will take us to a uncharted system. Now, in case you're wondering, you cannot do barrel rolls with the Starborn Runner. Yes, I'm sorry. They took that away. But it is what it is. Okay. Any moment now. I promise it'll exit hyperspace. Oh, there it is. A little blink on the taillights usually tell us that we're almost there. Excellent. And heading for an asteroid field. Okay, which planet do you want to send us to this time, Hello Games? Oh, an ocean planet. That would make sense. Okay, ocean planet is there. A uh, high radio source ocean planet, right? Great gamma, okay. Copper, uranium. Okay, so we shouldn't have any serious storms here. It should be general. By sentinel activity, so we're not looking at the sentinels attacking us every time we turn around. But we may still have a little bit of a battle in case we have to pick up anything special. Um, like when we deposit them at the at some place. But anyway, here we go. Alright, we don't have to land anywhere special. Now, if you do... Head for the ocean like this. Let's get inside the atmosphere first. A lot of hesitation right now. I'm not sure what's going on. I think it's loading stuff up. It just had an update yesterday, or this morning, I should say, so they might have been changing some bugs. Who knows? So there we are. It still seems that we're looking for specific items. Now, in your ship, if you check, you should have... Hopefully I have it too... Uh, that the aqua jets. If you have aqua jets, you can land on the on the on the uh, right on the water, someplace over here. Now you could. Oh, it's pointing us directly at this crashed freighter. Ooh, this is new. Okay, I am not going to land on the superstructure like I usually do. I'm going to land on the water, 
right here. So it looks like just like killing hazardous flora, you have to check out the um, crater down below. Now again, there's a lot of hesitation right now. It should go away here in a couple minutes. It usually means I've got things going on in the background that are causing it to hesitate. Down we go. Split up to search the ocean floor. See, it changed. It wants us to collect living pearls. So it's not interested in us checking out this thing. It just wants us to go and look for pearls. So your pearls are just going to be your armored clams. Very simply, very simple to get these guys. You know, honestly, it's very much a piece of cake. If you have underwater protection, you're in good shape. You obviously need radiation protection too. So there's a couple things. If you find yourself running low on air because you don't have it, you can harvest oxygen and your everything should recover. Oh, it looks like radiation recovered too. How weird. Didn't know it would do that. Anyway. So these are what you're looking for. You're looking for the clams, of course, the armored clams. It used to be that we'd have to shoot them to get them to open, but now if you just get close enough, you can just take it. Oh, we got two of them here. There we go. Isn't that special? All right, we need 11. So we're just going to keep looking around, and you see our radar is actually pointing us in all the directions that we need to go. And as usual, it can't focus on any of them because it still thinks you need to get some behind you. Ignore them. Now you can also surface if you wish to restore your oxygen levels, but I'm also going to restore my lung replacement. Uh, let's see, where'd it go? Okay, it's not allowing me to redo it again. Uh, looks like we passed by a clam. Oh, we did. There it is. Let's go ahead and go down and get that one. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else we got? So basically this is all it is. It's just swimming around in the ocean and chasing them down. You could go back to your ship and, you know, mark one and fly back if you wish. Up to you. I prefer to go ahead and do it this way. Because it's fun. Not often you get to do anything underwater. I'm going to recharge my lung replacement. There we go. You use oxygen or one of your um, life support modules if you wish. I'll use one of those this time. There's a clam. Okay, we've got another pearl. And it looks like we have a few over here. Just keep looking for them. This is really not a difficult mission at all. Nothing's attacking you under here. So, pick up resources if you wish. Alright, what else we got? Looks like we got one right over here. There we go. I'll grab that one. If you can find them in batches or in groups, it's really good. Sometimes you see that they're under the ground me under the bottom of the ocean floor like in a cave or something like that it's usually worth checking because sometimes there's more than one ah like this and three three in a row look at that we got two more to go uh, let's see 295 274 looks like we got a few down here i'm gonna go ahead and head down here yeah, 152. Maybe there's two of them down there. We can get those. And no storms or anything. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Neat looking fish under the water. Love to see them do an underwater update as well. Oh, look at all the pearls here. Grab some extras if you want. They're really handy. And by the way, if you refine them, they can turn into um, gold. If you need gold. Okay. So we're done go back up to the surface. Now, even though you had to collect 11, or in my case, 11, you will likely not have to collect any more. Uh, pardon me, you will probably not have to turn all 11 in. So you're going to keep a couple of them at least. Okay, we're going to pull in our ship right over our heads. There, right there. And there we go. There we go. All that lightning coming out, and we're not getting electrocuted. Go figure. Who knows? All right. So there is our delivery location. It's six minutes away. So we're going to go ahead and do a pulse drive up from the atmosphere. Like I said, a lot of hesitation right now. Oh, looks like we're going to get pirates attacking us. 
I am going to dismiss our squadron. We don't need them. Look at that. They're attacking me in, in haulers. Uh, one melted. Who's next? You. Hi there. Hard to aim for these guys at such a short distance away. Only two of them. So, two pirates. Taken care of. Alright, where are we going? We're going to go over here. In we go. So, be prepared for that. If you have to go out of the atmosphere to do something, you may get attacked by pirates on the way. Uh, it says approximate location. Ah, see? Look, there's a landing platform right here. So, I'm going to take a stab and guess that this is where we're headed. Very nice. Cool looking ship, isn't it? Really a neat looking ship. Alright, moving on. And, yep, it's pointing at this nice little uh, terminal right now. Delivery box prepared. Accessing. This must be Polo's secure lockbox. I should deposit the item and register my delivery. So, see, it only took ten of them. I say only, but you collected a few extras, so. Delivery processing. Success. We're done. We just gotta head back. Take a look at the ships that they have here, if you're interested in checking out whatever ships they've got. they got a nice little uh, fighter right over here. C-Class, and you got a nice uh, solar ship, S-Class. S-Class solar ship. You know we're going to take a look. I may be getting back to red colors. Ah, oh, it's a nice ship. Look at the purple jets on it. That's really sweet looking. Love to know what its uh, solar sails would look like. I'm not interested in your hauler, buddy. Okay. Well... I don't think we're going to find out what the solar ship had, except there's another one coming in. Beginning to wonder whether we're in a pirate system. Yes, yes we are. It is a pirate controlled system. Isn't that interesting? Okay. Well, heading out. So, you need a pirate system on your radar, you know, amongst your space stations. This might be the best place you could go to do that, man. All right, let's go ahead and pull in the anomaly again. Got to get far enough away from the planet to pull it in. There we go. And on our way. There we go. So, that's the best way to get your pearls. I can't really think of any other better way to get them. It's pretty straightforward. Swim around, open up the clams, pry the pearl out. Pretty much done at that point. Okay. And there we go. So we're going to go ahead and turn this in at the Nexus first. We're going to slowly plot our way over to the Nexus. There we go. And completed mission. So we get our 1800 Quicksilver. We get our 12 light support, support, uh, support gels. 11, I guess. And we're back to normal. And... Good, good. I've always crossed the 100,000 mark on the on the Quicksilver. To check out our Quicksilver Synthesis Companion, we're going to create exotic items. As you can see, we've got the fireworks still available. Nothing else has shown up yet. And if we go to our log, you can check your any exploration that's currently being done right now um, is normally in here. It'll be a community uh, mission in here. So we don't have that right now. So yeah, no, no reason to look for it right now either. So that should take care of it. And that's all we've got for you today. Uh, of course, the beachhead expedition can be done in a, in a brand new save, or you can do it here from this terminal. Keep that in mind. And, uh, as you can see, I've already done mine, so I can select equipment. It's allowing me to start the expedition again. So we may be doing that from this, uh, save here, uh, in a later video. Might be getting to that tomorrow. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I appreciate you being here. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and we will see you again in the next video. Take care, everybody.